Hey, Tan here. So welcome to the VRTech channel. So Unreal sent over their new Unreal Lite, one of the first mixed reality glasses you can actually buy in store and available right now in the US as well through Verizon. So well, let's discover them together and try them out in this video. Let's get into it. So these are the Unreal glasses. This is the box with this uh, very holographic thing, but uh, let's open it up because right away you're gonna find the case where the glasses are gonna be. But let's put them on the side a second because so we see what's inside beside that. And uh, well, we have uh, some uh, guides that we don't care about at all. And down here, oh, this is interesting. So we have uh, four different clips for your notes, because then we're gonna have to try which one is the best for you to have the best uh, result when it comes to visual clarity. And this lens frame for prescription lenses. Beside that, there's a cleaning cloth. And of course, we have to open this uh, case. And here we are, these are the Unreal glasses. As you can see, they resemble a pair of regular glasses pretty much. They are a bit bigger, but they look pretty good indeed. On the top, you have the three cameras and all the connection. We have also the cable included that uh, goes out and uh, arrives with a USB Type-C at the end. And by the way, in the box, you're also gonna find this uh, particular clip that you can clip directly to your glasses to have a VR experience instead of an AR experience. By the way, they also sent over a phone, a OnePlus 9 5G, that should work very well with a Snapdragon 888. I'm pretty sure that everything is installed here already, but by the way, there's a list of all the phones compatible with our real glasses. I'm gonna leave it in the link in the description below. So here we are. What we have to do is just to connect the real glasses to the phone and get in the experience like this. So they look pretty good from the front. The moment you turn around, you can see that there's some distance over here because the position is super important when it comes to clarity for these glasses. That's why we have uh, this kind of fit. But how do they work? Well, they really have two micro OLED displays at 1080p in resolution uh, right on the top. And what they do, they actually reflect the lights right directly in your eyes. So that means they're gonna be able to see the holograms in your world directly. At the end, we're talking about mixed reality glasses. The cool thing is that containing this small form factor, we actually have the two cameras for the tracking because you can also go around and uh, see your holograms from different angles, of course, and it's very stable indeed. And the third camera over here for the recording and stuff. There's a proximity sensor, so the software knows whether you're wearing it or not, so it saves battery because, of course, these are two screens on top of the screen of your phone, so it's gonna burn some battery. Integrated speakers with special audio and this super convenient volume rocker that is not really for volume, but is for the light of the screens. So if you are in a dark environment or you're using the clip for VR, uh, where you can actually put it down so it's not super bright and doesn't burn as much battery, or if you are in a more bright environment, you can put the brightness all up. Uh, the holograms are never gonna be completely solid. They're always a bit translucent, but yeah, they get much, much better. I have to say though that I'm very impressed with the quality of these screens. The resolution is very good indeed. Everything looks very crisp. And when you open a, a browser page or a video stuff, it looks very good. So the first thing to do, of course, is to connect your phone. And Nebula, the application used from Unreal, is gonna start automatically. We have two options. We have MR spaces, where we can have a, a mixed reality environment, or air casting, where you can actually just see the screen of your phone. So let's get to the mixed reality experience. And this is Nebula, the launcher of the Unreal glasses. So here we have the web bookmarks, productivity, where there's a user guide, the gallery where there are our photos, and then the group where we have all the different MR games that we have available. We can switch here to air casting, so the usual and normal phone mode, follow mode to have the menu following us around, uh, we can change the brightness, of course, and we always interact with our phone over here. We have a big touchpad, and as you can see, the phone is not really tracked by Y1, but it's used as a laser pointer with three degrees of freedom. It works pretty well, I have to say. It will be very nice to have end tracking, and that is gonna arrive probably in the future. But yeah, so from here, you can open different applications and place them around your environment. As you can see, we can move it left and right, make it closer, further away, or bigger and stuff 
for pretty much an IMAX screen with a maximum of 220 inches at six meter distance. That is huge. Or 100 inches at three meter distance. So here you can also open up to five different pages that you can place everywhere you want in your environment, as you can see, and they're gonna stay there because if I move around, they stay exactly in the spot where I placed them. But the cool things are not just the browser pages, but mostly the MR applications there. I tried, for example, Table Trenches. It's like kind of a tower defense game that you can play in your own space, of course. If you have a table, it's much better. I was playing actually on the floor, and you can see all the different little miniature actually going around. There are not so many applications right now on it, but of course, the store is growing. The other way to use it is actually the screen mirroring, so you're gonna be able to just uh, look to your phone directly in there. So if you don't wanna mess around with all AR stuff or everything, you're gonna have just a big screen in front of you. You can watch movies and stuff in a familiar Android situation because uh, it's your phone in there at the end of the day. Lately I'm playing a lot of Halo Infinite that's absolutely fantastic. So it's the one of the first things I actually tried to do. I connected my controller and created a big screen and uh, yeah, the experience was pretty cool indeed. So how are these at the end of the day? Well, there's some stuff that I would like to see added to the software. For example, if you use the screen mirror mode uh, for Android, you're not really able to place the screen everywhere you want, but it's gonna be stuck always on your face. The other thing that you're kind of forced to use it if you want to use some Android application because you can't really open every Android application using Nebula, but just the applications made. It would be super awesome to actually be able to open your little app in your little window and just place it all around the room. Also, as all the other AR handset, the FOV is kind of limited. You can still see and watch a movie with an entire screen, but if you exaggerate too much, well, you're gonna start to see some edges over there and it's not really super ideal. By the way, it's much bigger than what I was expecting. And while they're super portable, also thanks to the case and the fact that the cable is not super long, so you can like, uh, you know, get everywhere. There's the thing that if you use it, you can't really turn off the screen of your phone because if you do that, it's gonna turn off also the screens on the Unreal. So you're not really able to put your screen in your pocket while maybe watching something and going around. And about going around, the light on the Unreal light is not enough, it's not bright enough for outside use. It's impressive and amazing what they were able to achieve in this uh, small form factor. But at the end of the day, it's still a bit heavy, so you can really feel it on your nose. So how can you get them if you want them? Well, you're gonna be able to get them at Verizon for $5.99. And uh, yeah, you're gonna be able to jump for the first time in a real AR experience at home. And that's pretty cool. But yeah, these are the Unreal glasses. Let me know what you think about it in the comment below. And for now, I'm gonna keep using them because yeah, if they look a bit wonky, they're also super cool indeed. A kind of a taste of what the future is gonna be. Make them a bit smaller, make them a bit brighter, make the FOV bigger. And with the software that's gonna keep evolving, it's gonna be very bright, the future ahead. That was the perfect sound. So yeah, these are the Unreal Light. As always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like it, this is like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, there's a join button down there. Let on further, also the Patreon. Thanks to all the Patreons that would join the channel, of course. It really helps a lot. And yeah, that's all. Again, like, dislike, subscribe. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.